An influencer and fashion designer is sparking debate online after he shared a handbag that he had made that was made out of both alligator tongues and a human spine. No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I know it's, it's rare for me to not be joking, but I'm not joking this time. Understandably so, there were a lot of people who were outraged by this. So let's talk about it right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre and you guys are potatoes. If you're offended about being called a potato, like it's a compliment. So you're welcome. If you need a place to get your news and you're sick of CNN, subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. And why don't you follow us on social media as well? Cause like, let's be honest, you, you I have nothing. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this purse made out of a human spine. Such a weird thing to say. Indonesian fashion designer Arnold Putra is pretty controversial. He's claimed that he's used plastinated human remains and albino skin in his pieces. Why do I feel like this is like a horror movie waiting to happen? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but make it fashion. Arnold Putra is reportedly very wealthy. He was shared on the Rich Kids of Instagram account and was named one of the most prolific car collectors in Indonesia back in 2017 by Talter Indonesia. If you take a quick scroll through his Instagram, he's been photographed with fashion icons like Michelle Lamy. So the piece that is causing outrage is a handbag that he made that was made out of an ethically sourced human spine that he says came from a medical surplus in Canada. It's a $5,000 handbag. It went on sale in 2016 and it apparently is the only one. The handle is made out of human spine, apparently. Experts told Insider that they do believe that it was made out of a real human spine. Putra has yet to confirm. According to a post on the Instagram account by Arnold Putra, the handbag was made out of an entire child's spine who had osteoporosis. How is it possible to ethically source a human spine? According to Putra, it is possible to buy bones from licensed companies that receive human specimens donated to medicine and occasionally sell them for a surplus. He did not show Insider the request for papers to prove that it was ethically sourced, however. He said that they were subject to a non-disclosure agreement. Apparently, didn't know this, it is legal in Canada to buy human remains. There's a store called Skull Store that sells human remains. Can you guess what they sell? Skulls, they sell skulls, Skull Store including a child's shrunken head. How much is a child's shrunken head going to cost you, you ask? A hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> what the f am I talking about right now? <laughs> there was actually some interesting stuff brought up online by people who dug into Arnold's past. And apparently he visits indigenous tribes and collects the bones of their children. Again, I am not joking. <laughs> Here's a tweet. Okay, so following this whole controversy, I did my research on Arnold Putra and saw the WhatsApp message between the seller and someone in the comments. I've come to the conclusion that he essentially goes to indigenous tribes and trades them goods in exchange for human bones. Here were some photos this person shared along with this tweet. I mean, the photos do show Arnold like hanging out with indigenous tribes, but as far as, you know, trading for human bones, I don't know if those photos prove that. Goods for bones. As for the alligator tongues that make up the bottom part of the bag or the shell, they were byproducts of alligator meat and the leather industry. Alligators are not endangered in the US. So if this handbag was on sale in 2016, why is it only coming to light now? Well, like back then, I guess nobody really thought anything of it. But as of March 23rd, 2020, a 19 year old student named Maxim posted a picture of the handbag to his Twitter account where it was retweeted and shared. Next thing you know, Arnold Putra made his Instagram account private because his comment section was getting flooded. Here's a screenshot of some of the comments. From the looks of it, people said that it was just disrespectful to the dead and just like weird, man. <laughs> Not that it matters, but I feel like this bag is like kind of ugly. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, not sorry, but I mean like even if the bag was like a design and it was made with like plastic or s leather or something, I would still think it's ugly. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just carrying some human bones. It's the hot new trend this summer. In response to the criticism, Putra said this. It's part of a creative learning process that should involve opposition. Otherwise, it would just be a form of repeated validation. I'm not intending to sell out and will continue to realize my ideas that are frequently changing in terms of subject matter. Okay, guys. What do we think about this bag made out of a human spine? Let me know. <laughs> For now, let's wrap up this video with some comments. Shantae Moore said, I always laugh when Charlotte says, cause mm, I like you. Mm, I like you. Mm. Dashley said, what's gravy? I love that seal. Don't steal it, that's mine. It's mine. 
Emma the Tyler said, still no shout out. Thanks for keeping me sane. Well, thank you for sticking around for your shout out. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, okay? Subscribe, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Why does this keep coming undone? Clothes, I feel naked.